I know the difference between fair comment mm -hmm. and uh, anything else. I know the difference between uh, uh, what is for public consumption and what is not. I'm very guarded. I'd look at my history. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to respond to junior officers in a party that is competing with me. I am a principal in court alliance. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I, can, I can give you officers who can uh, respond to you. Dr. Sely, Dr. Chris Wamalwa, there's uh, many fellows. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, okay, you're not going to respond to what TNA is saying? At all. At all. Yes. But then, are you aware of these comments you made in Water recently? I know last what week? I've said in every rally. I know what I said in Kakamega. I know what I said in Kitale. I know what I said in Kitui. I know what I said in Kaskeu. I know what I said in what. Okay. Yes. What you said in water regarding that land was not bought. Yes. Uh, that land was grabbed and now it's being used to bribe people so that uh, they vote for I'm Uhuru Kenyatta. You, I won't respond to junior officers from a competing party. Let's if they're the ones who have said that, there's no point for me to engage in debate with them. You're very right. I yes, think. because I have a different level I deal with. I know what I said. I know it's not actionable. Mm -hmm. I know it was fair comment. And Why I'm would you say it's fair comment? Let's, let's leave TNA out of yes. this. Let's, let me talk as a journalist and what I heard you say in Wate. So now I'm asking you what you said, these statements, what, what yes. did that mean? Why, did, why are you saying it's fair comment? I have said many times that the new constitution has brought different and new levels of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Right? The new constitution and the laws that we have uh, formulated under it and legislated talks about reforms in land mm -hmm. talks about reforms in the way we do things mm -hmm. and it's not just me everybody has been asking the people who own properties that are questionable is a whole one and of that's them what been. I've been saying families that own properties that are questionable that's what I've been saying right. and I've said if you come from a family that owns land that is likely to be a subject of reforms. Reforms that may dispossess you some of it. You are unlikely to be impartial in pursuing those reforms. And I said in Bungoma that we have a saying in my language that a mangi cannot preside over an agenda to abolish forests because it has an interest. That is a very famous saying in my community. All right. And I've repeated this in many places because we are not talking about a country that must completely forget its past. If you ask me how much land I own, I'll tell you what my father gave me an acre and what I bought a few acres and we end there. But we also know that there are families in this country that own tracts and tracts and tracts of land. Like the Kenyatta family? I'm sure you know. And uh, when somebody questions that how was this land acquired, was it taken, was it bought, those who are affected should say, yes, we bought. Then the story ends there. Yes, we took it. Then we ask more questions. Very good. Yes. But with all due respect, why would you say that if you don't have, do you have proof of that? What do you mean, do we have proof? Are we in courts of law or are we in a political arena? If somebody sees me with a Mercedes-Benz that my station in life may not justify my having it and says, how did Wetangula acquire that S320? That's not an unfair question. It's not an mm -hmm. unfair comment. Mm -hmm. If I know how I got it, I'll explain. What is so difficult about that? But specifically, you talked about being grabbed. Who doesn't know that land has been grabbed in this country? We want to pursue our politics on issue-based manner. Mm -hmm. And this will include questioning everybody in every manner possible, especially those who have put themselves up for competition. Let me give you an example. I have seen on the blogs people saying, I should talk about the Japanese scandal. I have never feared from talking about it. And I've said it and I want to repeat it again that as a Minister for Foreign Affairs, my conscience was and still is so clear. I don't know of any scandal. I was not involved in any scandal. So if you position yourself for public competition, yes. you must subject yourself to public scrutiny. And people will question things about you. People will question things about your family. 
People will ask you, you are good, yes. But how about your father? You are good, yes. How about your mother? These questions are asked in politics. Don't we have institutions to do that? I mean, let's... let's the institutions will come at a different level. We are playing politics. This is politics, yes. yes. You, say, you say it's politics. It politics. We know where this country has come from yes. recently. Yes. Is it uh, okay for you to tell the masses such a thing? And we know mm. the masses cannot prove. If whoever is, is saying this or you're mm. directing this to like Uhuru Kenyatta will not respond, how does that leave the country? If he can respond, well and good. If he doesn't, we move on. I passed my message. I put questions. If there are anybody with answers, they will give it. If there's nobody with answers, I'll move to the next subject to tell Kenyans now what code will do when we get into office. But in the end, how does that help anybody? For example, when you're doing your campaigns, if you make such an allegation and you wait for the one, uh, this one is directed to, to respond, and I he does not make respond. I an allegation. I made a public statement that questions will be asked as to how individuals and families acquired their wealth. It is even in our laws. Yes. If he doesn't respond to this, I, how I, does that leave the masses? I mean, do the masses not do not know. To, you do not go to a public platform to address the public on a political issue mm. and say that after I have finished my address, some days will respond. That is not the purpose. The purpose is for me to communicate that when my government comes into power, we will correct the following things. In fact, you must know because I know you very well and you are very intelligent, that the foundation of our new constitution was a correction of historical injustices. How do you correct historical injustices if you don't know them or you don't talk about them? Don't you think it will be polarizing the masses? That is How the does it polarize the masses? Because the person because, you're directing this yes. to has not responded and you're moving on with your campaigns. It does the masses not, are getting one side. It does not require a response. And if anybody wants to respond, why not? Let's not whistle in the dark. I've had this from code campaigns, not only yes. you, uh, yes. I've had this from code campaigns. Is it yes. a strategy you're employing? Is it something that uh, members of code are yes. employing? And don't you think it's polarizing? It can't polarize anything. Let me tell you. Why aren't we asking what our colleagues have also been saying about us, mm -hmm. about my presidential candidate, mm -hmm. about his running mate? and many people in our camp. They have also been saying a series of things which we don't find offensive even if they may not be factual. Because we know we have a duty and an opportunity to go to the next rally and speak about what they have spoken about in a manner that shows the difference. Mm -hmm. When somebody says they will do the following things which our brothers in code are only interested in Vitenda Willie and Katikati. I'm sure you have heard of that. We don't go and say we are not in Vitenda Willie, we are not in Katikati. We simply go and tell the people of Kenya that even as my captain will end up by saying Kitenda Willie, but he has said a series of things that make a difference from our competitors. Finally, with all this that has happened, yes. with the personal statement you said you make, not yes. allegations, but you said personal statement you made, Mm. Do you think there's need to apologize to anyone? Apologize to who? You don't and have for, regrets of whatever what? you said? What I'm telling you is, as a campaign process goes on, I am sure people will stand up and also ask me, how did you own a house in Spring Valley, which I own? And I can answer it. That doesn't amount to head speech. That doesn't amount to anything. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. So, so? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay.